Hello and welcome to another episode of Buncombe County Weekly, a show right here on BCTV to let you know all about upcoming county-sponsored events. Just to let you know, all the information I'm going to give you can be found online at our website at buncombecounty.org. Another great way to stay up to date with county events is to subscribe to our online magazine, Buncombe County Ezine. Also, you can watch all of BCTV's videos online whenever you like by visiting our YouTube page at youtube.com slash bcgovtv. And don't forget to subscribe. Well, it's time to get your kids off the couch and show them how exciting summer can be with Camp Julian's Day Camp. Activities include kayak instructions from Diamond Brand Outdoors, crime scene investigations with the Sheriff's Office, crazy physics experiments with Nutty Newton, fishing, pontoon rides, nature trails, golfing, and much more. Camp Julian will take place the week of August 1st through the 5th at Lake Julian in Arden from 7.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. You can choose the number of days your child attends. Camp is for 1st to 8th grade and is limited to only 20 campers per day, so make sure to sign up early. The cost is $160 for the week or $40 per day, which includes all programs and morning and afternoon snacks. Campers will need to bring their own lunch and drink. For more information, contact Grace Young at 250-4265 or email her at grace.young at buncombecounty.org. And speaking of the Parks, Greenways, and Recreation Office, they're starting up their 2011 Special Olympics bocce ball. They will begin with an informational meeting on Saturday, July 30th at 10 a.m. at the Sports Park Pavilion. During that meeting, they will go over the season schedule, the importance of practice, and establish coaches. All athletes need to wear tennis shoes, hats, visors, or sunglasses, and bring plenty of water and sunscreen. The season will start in August, with practices every Saturday at 10 a.m. For more information about the Special Olympics of Buncombe County or bocce ball, contact Grace Young at 828-828. 250-4265 or again email her at grace.young at buncombecounty.org. Well, the summer and its heat are still going strong, so make sure to cool off at one of Buncombe County's many outdoor pools. You can even get in for free on Sundays if you follow their Super Sunday specials. All participants pertaining to the events of the Super Sunday specials will get in for free on Sundays between 1 and 2 p.m. Events such as Teen Day on July 31st where all teenagers are admitted free. Sunday, August 8th is Man of Food Day where if you bring a can of food you will be admitted for free. And finally, on Sunday, August 14th, all students will be admitted for free on Back to School Day. For more information on the Super Sunday specials and on the many county outdoor pools, give Terry Gentile a call at 828-684-5072 or email her at terry.gentile at buncombecounty.org. If you've ever thought about being a homeowner but have been dissuaded by the cost or the fragility of the housing market, then make sure to check out the Affordable Housing Fair coming up in August. It will take place on Saturday, August 20th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the First Baptist Church of Asheville at 5 Oak Street. You will meet realtors, mortgage lenders, housing specialists, property managers, and more. You will also learn about buying a home, mortgage programs, rental properties, and more. Discover communities and new home developments on their free maps. There will be fun for the whole family there with plenty of vendors and children's activities. Prizes will also be given out throughout the event with food and drinks provided. For more information, call 828-255-8505, extension 4702. This event is sponsored by On Track Financial Education and Counseling, Bank of America, the Asheville Board of Realtors, the City of Asheville, and of course, Buncombe County. Well, the Buncombe County Sheriff's Office and the Animal Coalition of Buncombe County are offering a low-cost rabies vaccination clinic to help keep your pet's vaccines up to date. The next clinic will take place on Saturday, July 30th at the Sports Park in Candler. Dogs and cats are welcome. One in three year rabies vaccines are $10 each. Combination vaccines are $15 for dogs and $20 for cats. And you can get your pet microchipped for the low cost of just $10. Please make sure to bring restraints for all of your pets. For more information, contact Buncombe County Animal Services at 828-253-1195. 
And speaking of pets, if you're currently looking to add a new member to your family, look no further than the Asheville Humane Society. They have plenty of adoptable dogs and cats currently in need of a good home. The Asheville Humane Society is dedicated to the compassionate treatment of animals through education, sheltering, and adoption. Please visit our new Adoption Center located at 14 Forever Friend Lane to view our many wonderful animals available for adoption. Tango is a large, short-haired, orange tabby cat. He's a male and he'll need a little time to adjust to his new surroundings. Clifford is a four-year-old black and tan hound mix and would make a great hiking buddy. Raspberry is a very cute, rambunctious, two-month-old, medium-haired brown tabby kitten. Bodie is a two-year-old red and white American Bulldog pit bull mix. It would make a great couch potato. Gloria is a three-year-old elegant black short-haired female cat. Daisy is a female black and white beagle mix about three years old and she's smaller. She's only about 30 pounds. Victoria is a slender white two-year-old curious adult cat. Pumpkin and Paddington are two very sweet German Shepherd mix puppies. They are about two months old. Frida is a beautiful three-month-old dilute calico tabby cat. She's a female and she's looking for a new home. Charlie is a 10-month-old retriever mix full of energy and would make a great hiking buddy. To reach the Asheville Humane Society Adoption Center, call 828-761-2001. To view all of our adoptable animals, you may visit AshevilleHumane.org. Well, vaccines are not just for infants and preschoolers anymore. The older your child gets, the protection they receive from their childhood vaccines can wear off. During the summer, but before school starts, is the perfect time to get those vaccines renewed. Health officials recommend that 11 and 12 year old boys and girls receive four vaccines. Tdap, meningococcal, HPV or human papillomavirus, and the seasonal flu vaccine. Public schools in North Carolina actually require proof of Tdap vaccine before a child can even enter the sixth grade. Vaccines are available at the Buncombe County Department of Health. Walk-ins are welcome with hours being 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. at the immunization office at 35 Woodfin Street. Please bring your child's immunization card if possible. TDAP is offered to 10 to 12 year olds at no cost. Please call 828-250-5096 for more information or visit buncombecounty.org slash preteen. Well, the Buncombe County Office of Cooperative Extension want to keep you up to date on lawn and garden care throughout the seasons with their monthly gardener newsletter. It is published monthly and contains climate data, helpful hints, timely articles, and a list of garden tasks for each month. You can download the latest issue at buncombe.ces.ncsu.edu. Just click on Newsletters and then on Mountain Gardener. If you'd like to receive the newsletter each month by email, please call 828-255-5522. Or you can send an email with Subscribe to Mountain Gardener in the subject line to Joyce.Plemons at BuncombeCounty.org. And speaking of the Office of Cooperative Extension, due to citizen demand, they will now be selling rain barrels again. The 80-gallon barrel from Rain Barrel USA measures 37 inches high and 28 inches wide. The heavy concave lid channels water flow into the barrel with a screened entry blocking leaves, debris, and insects. For more information on them, you can check out RainBarrelUSA.com. The barrel is $110 plus tax and make checks payable to Buncombe County. Stop by the Buncombe County Center of North Carolina Cooperative Extension at 94 Cox Avenue in downtown Asheville to pick up one today. If you have questions, you can call the Extension Office at 828-255-5522. Well, citizens now have a safe and easy way to dispose of expired or unused prescription drug medication. Help keep them out of the wrong hands and protect your family and the environment by dropping them off at the permanent drop box located in the lobby of the Buncombe County Sheriff's Office. You can also drop them off at the Asheville Police Department by the Evidence Management section. Medicines can be dropped off Monday through Friday during regular business hours. For more information, contact Lieutenant Randy Sorrells with the Sheriff's Office at 
250-4473. And speaking of the Sheriff's Office, now it's time to keep an eye out for this week's Mountains Most Wanted. Tommy Lee Johnson is wanted for trafficking in opium, heroin, and trafficking in cocaine. Dakota Allen Korn is wanted for forgery of instrument and probation violation. If you have information on either of these mountains most wanted, or if you know of their whereabouts, give Crime Stoppers a call at 255-5050, or you can send an email to tips at buncombecounty.org. By providing information that leads to an arrest, you could be eligible for a cash reward. To see a full list of your mountains most wanted, check out our website at buncombecounty.org. Well, if you're a farmer looking to add water quality or farmland improvements to your property, then there's still time to qualify for a grant from the Newfound Creek Fund. Current federal grants for water quality projects will expire in August. So if you want to save 75% on the average or actual cost, then there's still time. In the past, savings have been used on livestock watering tanks, livestock trails and walkways, cropland conversion, livestock feeding pads, and seeding of eroding areas around farms and residences. If you're interested in having a soil conservationist visit your property to discuss the grant program, call Gary Higgins at 828-250-4786. And now it's time for some upcoming events sponsored by the Buncombe County Public Library System. Throughout August, the Pack Memorial Library will present their Lend a Hand Care for the Land exhibit. The educational display on the forests, invasive plants, and recycling is free to the public. It was provided by the Southern Research Station of the National Forest Service. On Tuesday, August 2nd at 7 p.m., the Black Mountain Library's Shakespeare Discussion Group will discuss Julius Caesar. The group will then meet on Sunday, August 14th at 6.30 p.m. to view the free performance of the play at Monfort Park. Anyone wishing to participate in this group should read the play and attend the discussion group. On Wednesday, August 3rd at 3 p.m., the Weaverville Library will hold their afternoon book club featuring the book Sarah's Key by Tatiana de Rosne. All interested readers are welcome to attend. And finally, on Tuesday, August 9th at 6 p.m., the summer concert series of the Swannanoa Library's Groovin' on Grovemont will feature the acoustic Americana Bluegrass Roots Rock Band, Red June. It'll take place at Grovemont Square, which is adjacent to the library. For more information, call 828-250-6486. Aside from their normal events, the Buncombe County Public Library System has plenty of programs for children this summer through their summer reading program. Check out our website at buncombecounty.org library for the dates and times for all of the events. Every year, the summer reading program takes place with a different theme. For this year's One World Many Stories, readers of all ages will celebrate stories from around the world with folk tales, crafts, music, and more. For more information, you can call 828-250-4700. Well, we're all very fortunate to live in Buncombe County, where we're surrounded by the Blue Ridge Mountains, have all of our great waterways, hiking trails, and scenery. So if you've recently taken a photograph that captures the beauty of our surroundings, picking up trash, recycling, or just visiting many of our county parks, why not share it with the citizens? The photos must be high quality, at least 300 dpi, and will become the property of Buncombe County if submitted. To upload your picture, visit buncombecounty.org, then click on Staying Connected at the top of the page, and then click on Photo Upload Link. Just fill out the form and attach your photo, and you're done. The best photos will be featured on our county website in promotions and or future editions of Buncombe Life publication. Well, Buncombe County has many resources to keep you up to date on county events and promotions. Not only can you find us here on BCTV, but you can find us in print, online, and in your inbox. You can see us in print with Buncombe Life Publication, which can be picked up at any county office and library. Online, you can find us not only at buncombecounty.org, but through Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. You can go directly to facebook.com slash buncombegov to become our friend, sign up to follow our Twitter feed by visiting twitter.com slash buncombegov, or subscribe to our YouTube page at youtube.com slash bcgovtv.
You can also get the latest county news sent to your inbox by signing up for our e-zine on our homepage at buncombecounty.org. And of course, you can view us right here on BCTV on Charter Channel 2. And speaking of BCTV, we have a variety of original programmings that are also available on our YouTube page to keep you tuned in to Buncombe County. Programming such as Buncombe Life for current county events and promotions, come out and play for a detailed list of all of our county's parks, greenway, and recreation department events, check out our Buncombe News updates for recent county news, Preschoolers We Love You for the Kids, and of course, our Board of Commissioners regular meetings. We also have a number of programs from our Cooperative Extension Office, ranging from basic home maintenance to monthly garden chores to even staying healthy. If you'd like a copy of any of our programming, or if you'd just like to send us some feedback, email bctv at buncombecounty.org. Thank you for watching, and have a great week, Buncombe County.